pretty cool stuff. You ever uh, heard of a, a guy named Yipes? What's his name? Yipes. Yipes? Yeah. Uh, no, I have not. He's he's old. Old? He's played like, he was a famous player back in the Marvel two days. Two days? Okay. Yeah, dude. Guy, guy's like a little bit old, it's a bit seasoned. There's three SWGs here, a swig. Oh my god. Three swigs on screen. <laughs> They're invading, dude. Oh, They're dude, all the Warcraft movie? movie? Oh, that Warcraft movie's gonna be so good. Ugh. I, I'm debating on seeing that. I kinda wanna see it just cause it kinda looks cool. The armor looks like it's plastic, dude, on all the humans. Like, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I think. <laughs> I don't know what I think. But I, I know that I've, I've always been like a big Warcraft nut. Like, I was, when I was a kid, I used to read the books. Like, do you know the Warcraft 2 came with this, like, big booklet? And it had all the lore. He was really? talking about like yeah, like the rise and fall of empires and stuff. Bear in mind, I'm like ten. ten? I'm like eight or ten, and I'm reading that. Why? Mm. <laughs> Hunter, can can you hear me? Okay, am I? Am I talking loud enough? Okay. I didn't know if I was, but I thought I was. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You, <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, what's that? Right. <laughs> oh, no. I was just talking to Hunter. Okay. I was making sure I was loud enough. I want to make sure I am. Yeah, dude. Eat the mic. Let me show you something. See this? Eat it. Yeah, there you go. I'm chewing on it. Yeah, there we go. All right. So. So. We're getting into SWG Bananas versus SWG Squig versus Squig. So, uh, the thing that you got to keep in mind is Didact beat Bananas for the first time yesterday at SWG's event. Oh, did he? And he, like, 2-0'd him. Ooh. It was, like, definitive. So, the that's the two. first time that's ever happened. So, just keep an eye out between these two because there's a chance that this match might be pretty polarizing. Um, yeah. Bananas is somebody who just, wow. wow. Get destroyed. Dear God. Someone's playing whack-a-mole over here. Whack-a-mole. Come on. <laughs> Sick. Here's the grab. Where's the setup? disgusting, actually. Oh, got another grab. Dude, dash attack is so good. Oh, he read the tech roll in. Done. No. Done. He has the double jump available to him because he's such a high percentage. He was able to avoid that. It was good. Yeah, yeah. But is he going to live here? No, sir. Recaroni. So, with these two, I think these guys are pretty much dead even. I'd say, oh, I think that drill was unsafe. Just kind of ran in there. Ooh, like, the anti or up airs. I usually play Fox in this matchup. I'm a Falco main, or I'd say I'm like a I'm dual maining him. Sure. But sometimes it's Falco. It sucks. Oh, it's absolutely. hard. It's just like uh, I feel West, like a, a vegetable when I play. West Ball's, uh, <laughs> I think West Ball's like had had a bit of struggle with it um, yeah. at Forte Three. Yeah. When they played out here, but that was. Oh, he's still gonna live. Yeah, he's oh. Um, yeah, but West Balls eventually like figured out ways to overcome those grabs, right, with those yeah, awesome yeah. mash outs and whatnot. But Ooh. takes him up off the top. Solid. I could definitely see why Fox would make sense here, though, because Shine works so much better for you in this situation because you just drill Shine in, yeah. you separate the two, and then you can choose where to go from there. I think as Falco, like I know this isn't Falco, but when I play Falco, mm. sometimes up tilting kind of separates the climbers. Yeah. And it I'd works, say. I think, similar with Fox as well. Probably Fox. I'm sure Fox can do it, too. But his oh. shine's just better. At wow. That was sick. That anti-air up smash? Yeah. He said, I know you're at the top platform, and I think the best option that you want to use <laughs> is drop down directly on top of me. Yeah. Let me just air to air. Just anti-air him out. Don't even bother. <laughs> oh, there you go. Just wall out mana. Atta. Hmm. <laughs> All those atas you see on the top is like him trying to shield you. <laughs> He's oh, gonna get no. wobbled. No, that's He's done. so sad. All the Fox mains are crying. Oh. I'm crying and sad. Up. Oh. oh. Yeah. He'll make it. He can. He did it a bit prematurely. I think the sweet spot's like 160. I think it's something like that. I don't remember. I think there's a certain point that you can hit them that, regardless of which stage you're on, like if you claw them with this, they're done. Yeah. Oh, dang. Uh, he took his jump. Looked like it. Up. This is so the first thing that I, I would imagine that Didact is going to do is try to see if he can disarm Icy. Yep. She does. He takes she does. out Nana here. But now. He's Fox. He should win automatically. <laughs> right now. <laughs> He's got to earn it. He's got to. Yeah, he has to earn it. Can't be dumb. Mm. Up. He's fine. Oh, okay. He can still up B and get a little bit of hype. It's like a little bunny hop. 
The side B is there for whenever you like need a lot of air time. You have uh, yeah. a bit of good DI, so you're still living. Ooh. Okay. Back here. Oh, he okay. didn't. Oh, grabs him. Yep. Here he goes. Doesn't go for the dunk. Nice. Dang. Did you see? You saw that, right? Where he just he did a tight dash dance. Yeah. The ice cream scoop, just boom. That was a really good job of just waiting just that slight second before he just dashed back in. He is done. He rolled in. He shouldn't have rolled in. Nope. You're done. The it's only okay. thing he could have done was try to go. So regardless, because of the distance that he was at, yeah, he had two options, right? He yeah. lands on the stage, which gets covered by down smash, or he snaps ledge, which he still has to drift to get there yeah. and get caught by down smash. So Dreamland. I think he should go. OK. I would have gotten Pokemon, but. So why do you think he went here? Uh, well, like, if you camp top platforms, like, Icy's can't really do much about it. Am I right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, I mean, so you could do that. You could go with that approach. You could do that, and Fox has more space to run around. Yes. And there's I, not more tight corners, so he gets more space. Like, he can do that short hop lasers. Exactly. I mean, I think that's the big reason. that If I'm, if. I, I would imagine that that's the primary thing to do yeah, because that's yeah. what's the most appealing thing about Fox, right? He has this ridiculous neutral speed, like because he can move around so quickly, control space, and if you know if he's full screen, mm. he still shoot pops off a couple lasers. Yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna be mad at that, right? Yeah, I think Didag needs that space. He's definitely abusing it now because he's a stock up here. He's trying to reduce oh. the amount of risk because think of how many times he lost uh, a lot of steam or momentum or yeah. even stocks to wobbling, right? Like, as soon yeah. as he got grabbed. He got wobbled one time, right? I'd yeah. say. He got just wobbled one time, once. Which is good. You know, at least he didn't get wobbled like four times. You just got to reduce <laughs> the risk, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. The run up uh, Ooh. shield. Okay. <laughs> Look at Wispy's face. Oh, excellent finish, body. <laughs> okay. See, look, just goes to the platform. Well, see, here's the problem: is that you saw that he shined there, and he split the two of them up. Yeah. He stayed committed too long to doing multi shines, because he wasn't confident he got him hit him with the first one, and that's when he get caught by Sobo. Yeah. Okay. You gotta play that hit and run tactic sometimes. Especially if you're so afraid of that grab, right? Yeah, you, you just can't get grabbed. And Bananas will wobble you. He has no mercy. Ooh. There you go. Was that drill? And up smash? Up. Oh. He got him. Was, yep. Very nice. That was an excellent job of him just uh, having that patience. Oh, he probably could have shined out a shield there, actually. No. Oh, no. Probably gonna drop down and shine. What? Fox is so good. Fox privilege. Ooh! Okay. Interesting. I wonder if there's anything that Bananas could have done there to potentially stuff the illusion. Okay, so there's no way Didact can lose this. There's just no way. Okay. Oh, wait, a yep. Baits the roll. Ooh, jab to down smash, waits for the roll in. Oh, okay. Here's the follow up, okay. there's the back air. These guys are going blow for blow. <laughs> Didax. No. Oh. That's going to be it. Okay, where do you think they're going to go? I'm going to say Bananas is either going to probably take him to FD or maybe our Fountain. So considering that we've seen Bananas, uh, he has wobbles ready to go. FOD, you're entirely right. That's exactly what he went for. Now, I can understand the FD pick, and... It, it would make sense because you just, in in these situations, you yeah. sometimes act like you play like the floor is lava against some of these Icy's players. Yeah. Uh, because if you go down there, they grab you and you die. Or if you they just start down smashing you, you okay, you die. Oh, he misses the tech. Okay, he's all right. Excellent. Okay. okay. Mana's still alive. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't even think he'd get that F smash. That's the thing that's so crazy about dash attack, man. It's like this character's dash attack is actually really sick um, yeah. because it leads for so many combo opportunities as long as you've done the initial juggle. Uh, no. So I that think he dropped shield. 
I mean, that was a stare down, right? Yeah. Like, you had both of them right next to each other. It's a question of, okay, who's going to press that button? Who's going to drop shield? Who's going to go for grab? Who's going to jump? Like, you're trying to figure out who's going to do what. And <laughs> if you just press that button early and guess it right, you get so many payoffs. <laughs> I like this combat right here. <laughs> Notice Didac hasn't wave dash out of shine once. Interesting. Hmm. I believe so. I don't know, man. Some people just, they just don't do that. But they still play this character competently. Yeah. It's crazy. Dude. No DI. No DI. No DI. No DI. Dude, that's the worst whenever you flatline out. Now, I mean, there's some situations where you're in true crouch, and then you just get messed up. Yeah. You try to go for the handoffs. Uh, he's protecting his uh, nano. No. Oh, he oh, tried yeah. to go for the re -grab a second time here. There's the down smash to catch the illusion. Not like this. Not like this, Dida. Come on. Power up. You can do it. There you go. This is a tough spot to be on. Even then, he's not able to finish off uh, Nana. There's the re-grab. Sends safe. him out. He tried to do rising up air to catch it with the mallet that's disjointed. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Scoops him. Hagen does. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Ooh, there's okay. He's done. He's, He's way too far out, I think. Yeah. Dang. That's it. And that's gonna be it, man. Bananas. He tried. Continuing he tried. his reign. Atta boy. He's. <laughs> I love seeing all these new school players coming out, man. Makes yeah. me happy. This yeah. kid comes out here. He was representing his high school for a while. Good for I him. The first time I played.